Hi, welcome to the channel and this is the second video of our rocket stove build project. So if you haven't seen part one of this video series, the rocket stove build series, then go and watch that now. I will put a link in the description below this video. So in this part, I started to dismantle the form around the concrete. Uh, I want to show you obviously what we're left with now. And the final part of the demolding process is to take that foam insulation from the center of the rocket stove so that we can actually start using it. So this is our rocket stove as it is now. So I started to take the sides off just to let it dry out. The sides came off really easy. Once I unscrewed from the rest of the plates, it literally just, uh, the sides just fell away. So really easy to demold. It hasn't shrunk at all, I don't think. It's kept its shape. It was a little bit fragile maybe two days ago, so I could actually make impressions in there which you'd expect from an aircrete style concrete but it is i think it's absolutely fantastic the weight of it slightly heavier than standard aircrete but it's still quite light if this actually works it's probably going to be the um the basis for future builds i just need to work out how to make that foam similar to shaving foam consistency and just be able to do it with with uh, basic products so taking the sides off still got the base on now removing this foam insulation which you'll see in part one this has been a little bit of a pain in the neck tell you the truth because this is quite a substantial piece of insulation that i used by far the best way forward if i was doing another one is to use much cheaper, much more flimsy pipe insulation. So this was, I found this piece in the shed and this is from Wix in the UK and it's basically 22 mil diameter internal. So this is for 22 mil pipe uh, and it's a 13 mil diameter wall. And I think what would be a lot easier is for that to be in the center and then cut lengths of this and wrap them around the outside to get to that 70 mil external diameter and then when it comes to demold simply just work that loose pull the center piece out and then the, the bits that are around the outside you can just push those in and pull those out that'd be a lot easier for this particular construction i'm having to use a pad saw and just saw the pieces of pipe insulation into sections and then work those free and pull them out so basically I'll just carry on doing that once that's done we'll work out how to build a grate into here for the wood and then we'll get this thing fired up so that's the main part of it out so it's taken about half an hour which is far too long to um, get this out so I think that onion style approach of wrapping layers around is definitely the way forward as I said just do it very loosely you might not even have to glue it pull this centre section out the solid centre section and then the other pieces will follow I think that's going to be a lot easier however this has not been impossible it's just a case of hacking away with a um, with a saw so I've just got one small in fact it's coming out now right so that's the center chamber clear next thing to do is I'm just going to work out how to fasten a grate into there so we're going to put some wood in I'll film that once I've worked out how to do it and then uh, we'll get this thing fired up so the next thing to do is to place some form of grate in there so we can sit some of the firewood on get some airflow underneath and then hopefully we'll get a nice fire a um, number of ways I think you can do this so I'm going to be cutting a slot in either side with a pad saw so I can slide something in I've got chicken wire left over from pizza oven builds uh, God, I hate this stuff but 
what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to fold it a couple of times to create a platform and that will go in. Other options to create that grate is obviously if you've got an old grate off a um, like a kettle barbecue or whatever or not this size but if you buy the smallest size of instant uh, barbecue the disposable ones and just use the grate off the top obviously you can use it first and then take the wire grate off and I'm sure that would uh, that would work well there's a number of options you can do so as I said the next step cut some grooves in the side fold this up into some form of grate put that in the thing about the grate is that you need some airflow uh, underneath the fire so I'll do that we'll come back and hopefully we'll get a fire going so I've just cut two slots in there using the pad saw make sure it was towards the bottom we want a little bit of airflow underneath but obviously we want some distance from the grate in order to put the fuel in I've just bashed up this piece of chicken wire so folded it shaped it with a hammer and then t I've taken two um, concrete blocks and just flattened it together so hopefully that will go in right so that's our fire grate with the airflow underneath obviously we've got um, air holes in the grate itself to allow that air to flow through so I'm hoping we're going to get a really good fire for this cutting through this hybrid uh, air crete it is quite damp when you get below the uh, surface so I think I'm going to let this dry out for another 24 hours so I'll come back tomorrow and we'll uh, set a fire in it so before we set a fire in the uh, rocket stove I'm going to cut some channels four channels in here so that when we put a pan on top it doesn't kill the fire so there's still some air flow uh, to give oxygen to the fire so I just think a bit of a wide channel in those sort of sections will do I can do it with a pad saw as I said this material is so easy to work with so I'll do that and then we'll come back and set the fire. Right, a quick demo then. Let's just see if our rocket stove works. So we've got two small pieces of fire lighter. Get those lit. Some kindling. see how it goes okay this is less than a minute into the burn I would say that works pretty well Wow first time making a rocket stove I can see me making another one So there you go, our rocket stove made from shaving foam. Why have I not made one of these before? They are absolutely fantastic. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual, if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.